Hello everyone, welcome to another video on my series on South African travel tips and today we're talking about what there is to see and do in Durban. Well, I'm not actually in Durban, but Belita, but hey, he's checking. Durban is situated on the Indian Ocean coastline in the South African province of KwaZulu-Natal. Here you can see the B Durban Central Business District, CBD as we call it. Then you have Umschlange and Belito. Durban is home to the busiest port in the country and the second largest container port in Africa. KwaZulu-Natal produces most of South Africa's sugar. There are sugarcane fields as far as the eye can see. There is a shameful history to this. Indentured labourers from India were brought to work on the sugarcane plantations when South Africa was a British colony. Today Durban is home to the highest population of Indians outside of India. Ushaka Marine World is a 16 acre marine theme park which includes water rides and an ocean and area. Florida Road is one of the trendy streets in Durban that reminds me a lot of Parkhurst in Johannesburg. There are a lot of good restaurants and bars to choose from. If you do come to Durban, this would be one of my must stops. Moses Mabida Stadium was built for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. There are tours of the stadium and you can even take the sky car to the top. Umschlange is a resort town, perhaps best described as the Durban equivalent of Santa. Umschlange is home to many hotels and resorts. In December, people from Gauteng will flock here for their annual holiday. Umschlange has beautiful beaches. The main reason Durban is popular with Gautengers is that the water is warm enough to swim in, unlike Cape Town. You can visit the Umschlange Lighthouse and the Umschlange Pier. It is best to swim on beaches that have lifeguards present. The waves of the Indian Ocean can be quite strong, so I would advise extreme caution. Please, please, please stay away from these stormwater drains. It contains dangerously high levels of sewerage and you will fall violently ill, so please avoid them like plague. One of the most important things that I can tell anyone to, who's coming to South Africa, particularly if you're from Europe, is that the South African sun is very unforgiving to the Caucasian skin. Believe me, I know, but it's one of the reasons I have a British passport, so I can't complain. When you come to this country, you need to understand that you put on sunscreen the same way you'd brush your teeth. You do it as a habit the first thing you do in the morning because if you don't put on sunscreen, you will peel like a fucking lizard in this country. I had that when I was 10 years old, never want to have that again, so I don't step outside, especially out here, without sunscreen. So, take a tip for me, please. I've seen so many people, British, Canadian, whoever, come here and I tell them, like, please put on sunscreen, they don't listen, and then they end up peeling like a fucking reptile. So, yeah, you don't want to have that happen. It's painful AF. Durban is home to vervet monkeys, which can be found throughout South Africa. Due to human encroachment of their natural habitat, the vervet monkeys can be found in urban areas and may scavenge for food. Ensure that you lock the doors and close any open windows to prevent the vervet monkeys from gaining entry. The monkeys will only get aggressive when they feel threatened. Do not scream or stare at them. If you do happen across them, you should back away slowly while facing them. Please do not feed these animals because it encourages scavenging. It is illegal to injure or hurt the vervet monkeys. One of the things you must try when visiting Durban is a bunny chow. This is a hollowed out half loaf of bread filled with curry. I managed to find one of 
Durban's best bunny chows at this hotel. The waiter said that the mutton bunny chow was the most popular. It's a real authentic bunny chow. I would suggest that you order vanilla milkshake if you don't like spicy food. If you plan on flying to Durban, King Shaka International Airport is the airport that you will use. This was built for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. A flight from Joburg to Durban takes usually around 45 minutes. If you want to drive to Durban, the trip from Joburg to Durban takes around 6 to 7 hours. The best time to visit Durban is out of peak season, such as late January to late March. The busiest time is during December or over the Easter weekend when most South Africans take holidays. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. So bye bye.